Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be watching Matthew Hussey and this is a video where he discusses who should pay for the first date and apparently he's a man who humbles a room full of women. This guy has built an entire empire of giving dating advice to women. And when I looked him up, he's 37 years old now and has a net worth of three to five million dollars. Uh, every source says something a little bit different. His channel apparently gets around 118,000 views a day, which definitely shows that he's making a lot of moves. And he even dated Camila Cabello for over a year. So it just shows that this guy knows what he's talking about. And as we were watching him today, Today, I found that this guy is the woman whisperer. This is dating 101. He is a dating expert. And seeing the fact that he can gather hundreds of women together who are holding on to his every word just shows that he really does know how to attract women, so much so that I feel that his dating advice would be very beneficial to men. If you guys are interested in these types of topics, subscribe to my channel, please. I'm posting every day and we would love to have you a part of our community. Now let's go ahead and just begin and don't forget to like the video too. Just smash the like button, please. Let's begin. Let's have one more question. We had this person at the back in the stripes. Um, <laughs> Yeah, let's hear from In the you. stripes. Um, during the dating period, you know, after like four or five months of dating, um, I just wondering at what point does it get, do you have to pay, did the woman have to pay when they go out? The guy is asking that I should, there should be half and half at that point. The fact that she's even asking this question and the fact that there are entire communities gathering of women to understand the male perspective is so interesting when you already, uh, at what point when you already been dating for four or five months right yeah <laughs> <laughs> look okay uh to, to give you a quick answer on firstly i think we should just deal with the who should pay thing to begin with who, when you're on a date, who should pay? <laughs> oh. I know. I mean, that's what I told them. You know, I'm sorry. But, I say, I'm dating. We're dating. You but know, here's the. Gentleman here. You're yeah, supposed okay. To pay. He's supposed yeah. to pay. Yeah. That's you're what I told I, but you're supposed to have sex with him whenever he says. No. <laughs> whenever Walt. What's, where, right? where, where, but what's the, where does this double <laughs> standard come from? I'm sorry, it's the reality. You guys can, you can, you can moan at it all you want, but the moment you say to a guy, you have to fucking pay for my time, you're saying this relationship isn't equal. This relationship isn't equal. My time is worth more than yours, so you should pay for it. Wow. I wonder what paradigm that sets up. Here's my view. If you go on a date with a guy and you don't offer to pay your share, you weren't taught right. If mm. you go on a date and he doesn't pay, he wasn't taught right. <laughs> Notice how when he says, if a woman doesn't offer, then they weren't taught right, and the audience was just completely silent. And when he says, and men don't offer to pay, then they weren't taught right, and everybody just finds it super funny. So we can see the double standard, especially in society now when we're fighting for equal pay and equal rights, and we don't want to withhold the consequences, then we are definitely in a big dilemma. I can tell you right now, if I was dating someone and they never offered to pay, I wouldn't be dating them. I can tell you that now. If they never offered to pay, I would not be dating them because I'd say, this is the most polite they're ever going to be. And they're not even trying to pay now. Um, <laughs> what does that say about my future? But I, I look, I, this, let me come at this from a different angle. I would, I would be treating, I will always treat my partner how I would treat my best friend. 
And okay. I wouldn't apply a different standard to my partner than my best friend. I wouldn't go, mm. I wouldn't say to my best friend, let's always go out to dinner and, and you always pay. Wow. I'd say, let's be teammates here in whatever way we can. And maybe, by the way, proportionately, what you can do is less than what he can do. That's a different thing. If that makes a lot of sense. And treating your partner as a best friend is what he says. And you would never disrespect or say something rude to your best friend. And so when we can treat our partners like that, we will have better relationships. That advice sounds really good. And to me, it also is such a good feeling to be able to pay for things. And so when we do pay for things, it gives a sense of satisfaction that we will chase after and we'll probably make even more money because we want to get that feeling again and we feel useful. And so to pay for something doesn't mean that you're put out 20 bucks. It means that you were able to do that. And perhaps that that is one of your reasons for why you want to be successful. And so it can't even help women to have more money to be able to spend and help around as well. He says to you, I want to go stay at the top hotel in Big Sur this weekend and it's 1500 bucks a night and you say, I, can't, I don't have the money. It's his job to say, it doesn't matter. I didn't do it so you could pay. I did it because I want to go and I want to take you. So that's the whole idea of whoever invites should be the one paying. Whoever um, made the initial invitation should pay. If the woman invites the man out, then she should be paying. And we can all improve <laughs> in this aspect. Great. That's what that is, right? Or... If you both agree to go on holiday and you have a fifth of his earning potential, you say, I want to contribute to a fifth of this holiday. It's overly simplistic, but you get what I'm saying, right? I see. I will contribute on the level I can contribute. Let me tell you what means something to a guy. Trying. Mm. That means something to a guy. When he feels that you're not even trying mm -hmm. to contribute, that's when he feels used. Because hmm. any guy who's really confident and self-respecting if the woman never is even trying to contribute, wow. he feels like uh, he's being taken advantage of. And I have to say that I believe that men are always not sharing their feelings as much as women do. And so, of course, I can see why these women are going to his seminars because these types of thoughts are interesting that are perhaps happening and we don't even realize because we don't hear about it and women talk more than men do and so that that is so eye-opening and it's very helpful it has nothing to do with money it has to do with the lack of gesture so i would be looking at if you like this guy mm. maybe you, if you're in different positions Figure out what you want to contribute proportionately or what you can contribute mm -hmm. proportionately and treat him as you would your best friend. Aww. <laughs> I love the idea of treating him as a best friend. And he brought up, so who should pay? Whoever invites. Or if the man pays, he basically said, well, then the woman should do whatever the guy wants. And we're subjecting ourselves to that if we allow the man to pay and don't even offer and the idea of making it into a fraction so if the woman is not making as much as the man then she can be paying what she can and it's the gesture it's the idea of wanting to help that i found so incredibly magnificent from this video he is really good at what he does. I'm super shocked, honestly. And he says that never offering to pay is not polite. And that makes a lot of sense because if uh, we want to be able to have such high standards and go to the nicest restaurant or the nicest hotel and we weren't specifically invited, then we should be covering those expenses. It just shows the power that comes when we are able to support ourselves and how good it feels and how motivating it is for a woman and also for the male because it's not a competition. We can complement each other and we work as a team, right? Like friends. I love that analogy. And it made me sad when he said that guys 
can feel used. I was at a bar one time. We all went out and we were with a friend and we were trying to help him hook up with somebody or meet somebody. And so I asked the girl, I told her that this guy would like to buy her a drink. And they went to the bar and he bought her a drink. And literally a few seconds later, she ran away. We never saw her again. And in reality, that's all that she wanted. And so it definitely makes it very clear that women do use men and that women can be so destructive if we're not careful. And so we have to recognize what we're doing wrong in order to not keep on repeating it and figure out what patterns are causing pain in our life so we can be better. And that video was so eye-opening. The Matthew Hussey is so interesting. We will definitely have to see more of what he has to offer because I can already see the advice he's giving making a big change in my life. And hopefully you guys can too, whether you're a guy or a girl or you're dating or not dating. I'd love to know. Let me know what's a story that you have where a woman invited or you invited and the woman perhaps didn't appreciate it or a successful relationship story that you have. I would love to hear about it. And please subscribe to my channel so you guys can stick around and see more content. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. You guys uh, will be seeing more of each other on this channel. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.